It's a real privilege to get to work with Daniel. I think his work has grown over the years tremendously. Uh, this is a very personal play, and yet it still has all of the hallmarks of him as a writer. Uh, a, a, you know, a dazzling sense of humor, very witty uh, dialogue, and you know, like any good comedy, it's the comedy is born of truth. I think on on a basic level, this play is a romantic comedy. But unlike most romantic comedies, when people sort of meet cute, this is a romantic comedy about chapter two of a love story. It's the time when, you're, when your relationship has to grow and evolve into something else. And can you make that leap or can't you? And hopefully it's sort of both couples, both acts of the play and both couples have to sort of make major decisions. And hopefully they make them with a lot of humor and some grace and some drama. Cradle and All is about two couples who live across the hall from one another in uh, a Brooklyn Heights apartment building, 7A and 7B. And in one apartment um, is an unmarried couple who are talking about moving their relationship forward and having a baby. And in the second act, Annie and Nate have an 11-month-old baby called Olivia who won't sleep. And the two, it's essentially two one-act plays that interweave with each other in an interesting way. Even as we were living it and experiencing it, I, the thought came into my head that this could be a play, that there's something, that everything that's coming out in the sort of anxiety of hearing your baby cry just a few feet away and not being able to go to her is the stuff of drama and comedy. A lot of the comedy comes from them trying to figure out ways to entertain themselves that don't involve uh, killing each other or fighting or talking about their relationship. For anyone uh, who's had kids, who uh, is having kids, who's thinking about having kids, uh, one can't help but sort of find themselves deliciously uh, engaged with Daniel's play. I was talking about it with Mandy Greenfield, who I've worked with on four of my plays now, and the idea just sort of came up, well, maybe it's the same actors, and maybe that will not only become fun and theatrical and exciting to see two uh, you know, actors give these sort of like bravura performances where they get to play two different parts, but also um, in a theatrical way deepen and enrich the themes of the play. I think there's an idea that the same person in different situations can behave differently. And I think that that's something that kind of like underlines the play a little bit, is that it's really not so much the difference between these people, but that the circumstances that we find ourselves in is what constructs our personality. What I love about Daniel's writing is he's so funny, but in a way that doesn't compromise character, and that there are four living, breathing characters on the page, and that's really exciting. What he thinks is most important is the truth, and just believing that he is literally, you know, peering into somebody's window and watching them live, and that all of the comedy should come out of the truth of the situation. The play is really about what it means, what fulfillment is and what that means to be fulfilled and what happens the day after you feel like you got fulfilled. That life goes on after that and how do you negotiate that and how do you create new challenges for yourself and new aspirations because life keeps on going. <laughs>